A victim of the Littleton tragedy was laid to rest today. Rachel Scott was one of the first to die outside the school as the gunmen began their murderous rampage. Cynthia Bowers reports she was Columbine High's golden girl. As many as 2,500 mourners packed a cavernous church to remember 17-year-old Rachel Scott and celebrate her life. Instead of dwelling on the tragedy, we declare today that Rachel is alive. Rachel's parents very nearly lost two of their five children. Her little brother Craig survived the killing spree by playing dead while praying for the safety of his sister. It's just going to be a hole in our family. Photographs of Rachel as she grew up capture an aspiring actress's flair for the dramatic, but the portrait of her that has emerged is that of a very real human being. She wasn't fake with anybody, just, you know, she was herself with everybody. The little red car Rachel paid for by working in a sandwich shop has become a haunting shrine, still parked in the school lot where she left it Tuesday morning, drawing friends and strangers alike. She was really pretty. She seemed really innocent, really outgoing, like she would never even hurt anybody. <laughs> While people here try to come to terms with all the death, they continue to grapple with why. What is wrong that such brutality can take place among our children? As the tears spilled onto Rachel's casket, and family and friends wrote their last-minute tributes, they vowed not to let their community give in to the violence. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Littleton, Colorado.